I was actually in Phoenix about a month ago, a little bit more than a month ago. Mm -hmm. When I was there, it was only 106. Oh, just only. 106. Yeah. So, oh. so That's that, nothing. So that was like calm. Yeah. So they average about 106, 107 this yeah. time of year. Okay. So Hot. getting up to 110, it's only three or four degrees above normal, but you get up to 115. 117. That's where it gets dangerous. 119. It makes a big difference. I mean, yeah. you're starting to see people showing up at the emergency room with burns from just falling down on blacktop mm -hmm. and the shoes melting. If you're standing or out on the blacktop. Or opening their car door, too. You forget about that. Yeah, I mean, God forbid you touch any playground equipment and <laughs> that kind of yes. heat. I mean, yeah. That's ridiculous. Let's take a look at the, t the calendar for Phoenix during the month of July. Each and every day so far is shaded in red, indicating above average temperatures. In the past week or so has been exceptional. Temperatures are running 10 to 15 degrees above normal. Today, the high temperature was at least 117 degrees when I checked around 3.30 this afternoon. This is not a streak that is likely to end with above normal temperatures anytime soon. It is possible that Monday, the last day of July, they might snap the streak of 110 degree days. The forecast high is 109, so it's going to be awfully close. We do not get to experience that kind of heat. Thankfully, we are going to be seeing near normal, even slightly below normal temperatures for the next few days. Very few changes to the big picture pattern tomorrow and again on Friday. Maybe a bit of a baby warm up for the weekend, but overall, we're going to have that sea breeze kicking in every afternoon and near average temperatures. Even once we climb a little bit, we're still going to be very close to what is normal for the end of July. And you can take a look at the temperature trend for Livermore, the computer kind of adjusting the temperatures as we go. And you can see that we're going to go up and down a little bit, but the ups only send us to three degrees above normal in Livermore. One of the spots this time of year that gets the wildest swings in temperatures and the downs on the temperature roller coaster send us to about five or six degrees below average by Wednesday and Thursday of next week, which below average this time of year, those are nice words to say. Also nice words to say, good air quality. We're in the green across the board today. The flat fire burning in southwestern Oregon is still burning, but it's not producing the volume of smoke that it was even a few days ago. So it doesn't look like even if some of that smoke drifts down towards us, it's going to be concentrated enough to put our air quality into the moderate category even for any parts of the Bay Area. So good air quality all the way through the weekend. And the fog has reestablished itself. A deeper marine layer is going to push farther inland every night and early morning, affecting our temperatures, which are still warm inland, a mix of 70s and 80s. It is cooler around the bay, only 62 in San Francisco and 65 degrees right now in Oakland. If you're heading out to the Oracle Park for the second game of the A's Giants series on this side of the bay, crosses the bay into Oakland next weekend. Temperature at game time is going to be right around 60 degrees at 645, dropping down into the upper 50s as we progress through the evening with that no sky July effect definitely in place as we head through the rest of this evening. Fog's going to be more widespread by tomorrow morning, even spreading into some of the inland valleys. Inland, it doesn't last long. It's going to back up to the coast very quickly. We'll see even uh, skies over the bay clearing out by about 10, 11 o'clock or so. Temperatures start off in the mid to upper 50s. I don't think even the warmest spots are going to stay out of the 50s for lows tomorrow morning. And then we warm up to a couple degrees below normal pretty much across the board. Near 60 along the coast, 70s down the peninsula, 80s in the Santa Clara Valley, right at 80 degrees in San Jose, with 80s in the Tri Valley and the Delta as well. Just the very warmest spots getting up to around 90 degrees. Not bad for July. Mid 60s in the city, upper 60s for Oakland, mostly 80s for the North Bay until you go much farther north, much farther inland in the Mendocino County and Lake County. Still likely to see some spots getting up into the 90s. Not much change to our day-to-day -day temperature pattern, just a little rise over the weekend. But that just puts us up to near normal temperatures. Upper 60s in San Francisco and low 70s for Oakland this weekend. Inland temperatures mostly topping out in the 80s for the foreseeable future. But that little dip on the temperature roller coaster sends highs into the 70s in San Jose by next Tuesday and Wednesday. The hottest days in the hottest spots barely into the 90s. No triple-digit heat anywhere close to us, not just the seven-day forecast, but even beyond that, 